I have a uh, small turntable that I've built for pieces this big. I just don't have time enough to set it up or else I would. So I'm just going to stand and work up here. And uh, I am going to do his head at some point. But for now I'm just going to flesh in his neck. Now if you want to, there's a I made a short trip up to Virginia City this morning, or this afternoon, or evening actually, and uh, to get some information on the war bonnet from Gloria D, who recreates uh, Indian clothing from that period, and uh, she's a heck of an expert on that sort of thing. And so, I'm going to uh, put that video on at the end of my video today because some of you might be interested to see that historic town of uh, Virginia City. Want to see that? Uh, stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to put this muscle that comes down off of the uh, top of the scapula. But the scapula uh, comes above the, uh, the uh, bone there. And it comes down and hits the rib cage. It gives kind of a shape to the uh, skeletal structure, or not the muscle. Gives kind of a shape to the uh, uh, the uh, muscles. I'm not going to do every muscle. I'm just going to basically block them in. Want to run the uh, center line like that because he is curving his uh, body a little bit. This warrior, like I said before, is touching the clouds, and uh, he was a Minikanju warrior, and a direct uh, cousin of uh, Crazy Horse. As you can see back here in the background, uh, there's the uh, sketch that I did, and uh, I'm trying
trying to stay true to it. All right, that's going to do it for today, and uh, I'll be back on this tomorrow. I'd like to get the uh, upper part of the body finished tomorrow, and then I'll start working on the, the head, and then I'll start working on the headdress and bringing everything together. I need to create a uh, bow quiver, and I'll do that uh, this week, too. So... Good night everybody. I've got a short video that will appear after I say good night here. Well, I'm coming down into Virginia City. I'm coming over to see Gloria D. She recreates um, Native American clothing and stuff like that. Her okay. guys for the shakiness of the camera, but all I got is my cell phone at the moment. But uh, this is uh, Virginia City. It was uh, in eight, the 1860s that they discovered gold on the Ruby River, and this is the Ruby Valley. And so it's got quite a bit of history of uh, vigilante hangings and killings and the plumber gang who would rob the miners as they left with their gold after spending a year or two mining for it or panning for it. So it's got a lot of history in this valley. Anyway, I'll pick this up later. All right, just finished up uh, visiting with Gloria, and she let me borrow this book on headdresses. And uh, I'm uh, heading home now. This is the back streets of... That house dates from about the 1860s right there. Let's see how good my all-season tires are. Ooh, wow, that worked out well. Anyway, and I'm going to just drive down the street a little bit. This is an old brewery that was built in the 1860s. Right there, just past uh, the uh, telephone pole. And they have the, the brewery Follies in there. And uh, it is really cool to come here in the summer and watch uh, the Follies. When they made uh, the movie uh, Taking Chance, all of us extras had to sit here in this park while they did the scene up there on the top of the hill in the graveyard for the burial scene of uh, Mr. Chance. And uh, there's the old courthouse. Looks like they're building something. That used to be a gift shop. No, that was the parking lot. Wow. wonder what they're building. Anyway, that courthouse was built in the 1870s.
Now I know you, my friends over in Europe, that don't seem that long ago, especially when you're used to seeing 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 things that were built in the 1200s or the 1100s. But uh, it's hard to believe our country is only that old. This is where the old newspaper offices are located, dating from probably the 1860s. I think it was called the Madisonian. Uh, we still have get the Madisonian here locally. It's owned by other people, though. Yeah, that's the old uh, print uh, and uh, newspaper office right there. All these buildings are original to this that time frame. Some of them still have stuff in them that dates from the date they closed the store. It's probably around early 1900s. There's ranks. There's Joe Bettinger. I better go in there. I want to see what they got. Nah, I, I got to get home. It's going to be dark real soon. There's our courthouse. And there's a building they're building. I don't hope they're keeping it to the style of these buildings. Now, this was going to be the state capitol one time. And I believe that was going to be the governor's mansion right there. That old uh, wooden building. Now, this is looking, uh, this is looking across the valley. It's about six miles across. This is the uh, Madison Valley. This is the valley I live in. That's the Madison Mountains right there. I used to live uh, right up there at the base of those mountains, right up near the uh, tree line. It was, uh, I loved living up there. It just was so far to everything, though. All right, well, that's going to be it uh, for now. I'm going to uh, head over to the studio and try to get at least a half hour, maybe 45 minutes into... Uh, working on the clay um, I need to uh, at least flesh in the upper body a little bit and maybe even start the arm I'm uh, going to turn off the camera now and I hope to have a little steadier picture <laughs> in the studio I think what I'll do is I'll put this video at the end of my video uh, so that uh, you don't have to watch this if you don't want to alright, good night everybody